What's up guys, Burn and Briggs here, back with another video. So recently, the Marvel CMF Season 2 has released. There's been a few pictures popping up here and there. One of the character sheet, the box art, then also the actual boxes themselves. So the main big difference with this Marvel CMF series, uh, it's actually the first CMF series that's not going to be in plastic bags. So now they're going to be in little boxes. Lego saying it's to save the environment, um, but it does ruin it for a lot of people because you can't feel the bags to see what character you have. So some people have been seeing them say that it's going to be the downfall of the CMFs, but I still think they're going to be just as popular. It's just going to be that people are going to go to Bricklink more to be able to find these characters. So the characters we have here, we've got two versions of Moon Knight, the suited one and the actual Moon Knight. We've got Ag Agatha Harkness, I believe her name is, with some accessories. We've got She-Hulk, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. We've also got... Uh, it's a Ant-Man character from the Season 2 of What If. We haven't got that season yet, so I don't know why he was thrown in. I heard some people say that maybe he's the one who replaced Kang, because the actor of Kang was in some recent bad allegations. Next up, we've got some X-Men characters. Beast, Wolverine with a Sentinel's head. Another rumor we've been seeing with this is that the uh, Sentinel head is actually a part of a bunch of different parts are going to come with different characters and then once you get all those characters you can build the sentinel which i think would be a really cool idea but i still wish lego would actually make like a proper sentinel we've got one before but i'd love to see a better version of it we've also got storm and then we've got the main villain or bad person that was in hawkeye but she's going to be getting her own so soon all the characters have a uh, great printing here my favorite is uh, Moon Knight. He looks absolutely incredible. It is a shame we didn't get Kang. He would have been a great addition to this CMF series. But uh, a big thing that kind of sucks about this series is since we haven't got a lot of these TV shows because they've been pushed back, we don't actually have any familiarity with these characters. So I think from the What If Season 2 characters, we should have got maybe Miss Marvel or someone, or even just some more popular characters, you know, like the last CMF we had Spider-Man and some other characters that were very familiar, so it was popular. But this one, it just seems like there's kind of characters that are less familiar, but... Nonetheless, it's still a really cool CMF series. I'd love to see Marvel do it a lot more sooner, the next Season 3, but let me know in your comments what you think about this uh, new CMF.